Simba Sterling, also known as Simba Air, was a small airline based in Sunabor in Denmark. And the only reason that I'm making this video is because I'm from Denmark and I just thought that it would be a good idea to make a video about a Danish airline. Anyways, let's talk about it. Simba Air was founded in 1950 by Ingolf Lorenz Nielsen, who took over Sunna Uland's Flutenscape. Its first aircraft was a single engine Psy KC-111, which is one of the only Danish built airplanes. Its call sign was OYDMO, and it had been used for flights primarily between Sunnabor and Copenhagen. In 1969, the airline took delivery of an 8-seat de Havilland Dove twin-engine light airliner. Simba Air was one of the very few operators of the VFW Fokker 614 regional jet. It also operated Nord 262 and Grumman Gulfstream 1 turboprop aircraft on its scheduled services. On December 3rd, 2008, Simba Air bought parts of Sterling Airlines, which I might make a video on in the future. Sterling Airlines had filed for bankruptcy on the 29th of October 2008. The new airline, which was named Simba Sterling, was created on January 7, 2009. Simba Air bought the air operator certificate slots, brand, and website. Aircraft leases were negotiated with the owners. Employees of the former Sterling Airlines was not part of the takeover, but were welcome to seek employment in the new airline. Simba Sterling was originally wholly owned by Simba Air Holding, and had 386 employees as of March 2007. It was listed on the Copenhagen Stock Exchange in 2009. Simba Sterling was the main sponsor of the Danish hand handball team in 2009 and 2010. In 2011, due to financial difficulties, Simba Sterling entered into a subscription agreement with Mansville Enterprise LTD, which gave Ukrainian billionaire Iho Kolomoyskyi a stake of 70.8%. On the morning of uh, the 3rd of May 2012, Simba Sterling cancelled all flights and declared bankruptcy ending the airline's 62-year operation. Within hours, other airlines announced their entry on selected routes. At that point, the airline had been flying to up to 30 destinations daily, primarily in Northern and Eastern Europe from Copenhagen Airport, on behalf of Scandinavian Airlines, with four Bombardier CAJ-700 aircraft. This arrangement was extended by the Kureta law firm Kroman Reumert to, to the 16th of May as it was profitable. On the 16th of May it was announced that several parts of Kimber Sterling had been sold including the Wellies contract with Scandinavian Airlines. The buyers of the contract were former key people of Kimber Sterling, Jörn Nilsson, son of the Kimber Air founder Ingol Nilsson, the former juridical director Alex Dijkgaard, and the former CEO of the airline Jakob Krugskor. The deal included 114 employees who would continue as part of Kimber AS. At the same time, Scandinavian Airlines and Kimber AS signed an extension of the agreement valid till the summer of 2014. Kimber had no plans of flying under its own name, but would only operate for other airlines. Kimber began with a share capital of 600,000 krona, that is a little under $100,000. In September of 2014, Kimber announced the shutdown of its operations by March of 2015 as Scandinavian Airlines as their single customer did not intend to renew their contracts. But in December of 2014 Scandinavian Airlines announced that it had entered into an agreement to acquire all of Kimber for 20 million krona that is around 3.3 million dollars. Scandinavian Airlines planned to transfer 12 CHA 900 aircraft 
to Kimber to operate from Copenhagen Airport and to continue with the with Kimber's previous plans to retire its ATL-72 and COJ-200 aircraft. In January of 2017, SAS reached an agreement with CityJet, whereby CityJet bought Kimber and would continue to operate flights on behalf of SAS. Kimber was merged into CityJet in 2018, ending its six years of operation. And that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.